You must have had a crack at this game at some point. There are different types of modern-day billiards, and in the basement of the CIBC building in downtown Victoria, a peacock stands proudly after 31 years as a local staple. <laughs> peacock billiards. The heart of Victoria's snooker, pool and carom circuit. Carom is like pool with no pockets. It's open to the public seven days a week, until 2 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. It's David Peacock who started the business in 1981. When I opened up, there was a recession. But snooker and pool was gaining popularity worldwide. Initially, his intention was to sell tables. But with few clients and stiff competition from the States, another idea came to mind. Renting time on the tables for sale in the showroom. The birth of a pool hall. And I charged more than people usually charge to play pool because the whole place was really nice and uh, I didn't allow smoking. Uh, uh, which was unheard of. Over the years, Peacock Billiards has been in two other locations around the city, including what is now Rehab Nightclub. It's been in this location for just over five years. When I get to see him, my brother-in-law keeps beating me at this, so if anyone could teach me a few winning techniques, it's Mr. Peacock in the billiards room with a pool cue. And then clamp your thumb onto your finger. And more, more angle this way. There you go. So now you see you have an X that you're writing and before you were in a, a large area that could and your thumb gets tired. This way your thumb is supported and you have a definite place for the cue to be. It used to be that a pool hall was a, a special place where you wouldn't be bothered by good manners and women. Uh, but I wanted a, a female friendly pool hall, which we've got. Peacock Billiards also features table tennis and foosball. The walls come alive with the work of local mural artists, or how about a bite and a beverage in the in-house bistro? Put you on table number two. Playing billiards recreationally can be a good bonding activity among family and friends. It was something to do. We haven't seen each other in a long, long time. We met at a BC cancer camp, so we just thought we'd hang out today, and we ended up in here. My mum has an art class. They're from Up Island, so they both came down, and my dad said we should play pool. <laughs> yeah, she's doing good. Actually, for, it's her first time. And if you're into taking the game a bit more seriously, you might fancy yourself in a weekly tournament with cash prizes, like Larry Wilson, who practices for about two hours every day. And with 47 years of experience, he's a bit of a local legend. My wife and I, we travel quite a bit for tournaments outside of Victoria. We've played quite a few players, both amateurs and some pros as well. We get some pretty good players regularly in the tournament and it's all handicapped so even though there's some strong players like Larry anybody can stand a chance so uh, Larry has to win a lot more games than anybody else who plays to beat them in the match. I mean you get to learn a lot when you play somebody at a higher level but at the same time you don't want to you don't get sharked out of anything so this format it's a good way to learn how good players play. Hanging out with all these pros I'm beginning to look like a peacock with a pool cue. And next time my brother-in-law challenges me, it's game on. Reporting in Victoria, I'm James Green. Nice.